cord cutting winter is coming. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato, your host, Webmaster DJ, and so much more from MediaMonarchy.com. Hopping outside for a quick flash hail and rainstorm here in the Pacific Northwest. Still coming to you from the balcony for episode 55 of Good News Next Week. Some of the ways that we are winning in solutions-oriented stories for the week of October 2nd, 2017. And it's kind of a dark time, and I figured everybody maybe need a little bit of good news and some solutions-oriented stories. We'll keep it quick this week. Our first story comes from Down Under listener Nathan H., who talks about a site, and we actually talked about this on our morning show, on a Food World Order morning show, I do believe. And it's basically about a website in Brisbane that brought together a bunch of people in the community that had all started their own farms, all growing their own different things, things they're into. The website basically brought the people together and they can do meetups, they can tour each other's gardens, they can share food, and they can share tutorials. And it basically tells all kinds of great stories. You get quotes about people who's like, this guy was making cheese in a shed. Surely I can make it in a kitchen. And this is another positive thing. Again, I don't live in Brisbane, but huge thanks to the people that live down under sharing these kind of stories using hashtag good news next week and again it's the idea of these things like we say in a lot of ways it's not about uber or any of those things. it's it's about the idea it's about the decentralization idea think about all those less trips to the grocery store at the very least you're also then learning those skills and we need to pick up those skills here at home i'd like to be able to meet up with more people and learn how to make our own you know balcony gardens better, learn how we can do some of our things indoors better. We can all learn how to do things better, and none of us has a monopoly on how to do it. There's basically a tutorial out there to learn how to do virtually anything. And that's what this decentralized web is is essentially all about. So as long as the satellites keep spinning above us, we can continue to share information in a fear-free fashion. Our second story this week comes via producer Sean. Two good animal stories for you. California condors return to the skies after near extinction. Basically three decades, they've made a comeback. In 1987, they took the last 22 condors and basically bred them in San Diego and LA zoos. Now there's 450 of them. California, Arizona, Utah, North northeastern Mexico. And they're also talking about releasing some in the Redwood National Park, which would put them on the California and Oregon border. The other good news animal story, new video shows a wild jaguar roaming southern Arizona. We released new video footage that shows one of the first seen in the last few years. Our third and final good news story on this Good News Next Week, episode 55, comes via the Johnny Gentle. And again, all our stories are on the tweets using hashtag Good News Next Week. We're not only listener supported, we are listener generated the news. <laughs> Crowdsource news is what I mean to say. And it's our title story this week. Cord cutting explodes. 22 million U.S. adults will have cut the cord by the end of this year. And they say it using the popular Game of Thrones catchphrase, winter is here for cable and satellite TV operators. American consumers are canceling traditional pay TV service at a much faster rate than previously expected, according to research firm eMarketer. They're saying in 2017, a total of 22.2 million U.S. adults will have cut the cord on cable, satellite, or telecom TV service to date, up 33% from 16.7 million in 2016, the researcher now predicts. They're basically adjusting their speculations and research about all of it because more data kept coming in and they're saying oh people are leaving it even faster than we thought let's put this in very simple terms with the quote from this article and again everything we say and play will be included in the show notes so you can continue the research for yourself and and follow up with us let us know what we're doing right and wrong james at mediamonarchy.com the takeaway as they like to say Last year, even the Olympics and the U.S. presidential election could not prevent younger audiences from abandoning pay TV. And that's good news. We got a video from someone several months back that showed them dismantling their dish system and that they were cashing that in and that they were going to take that money and give it to independent alternative media that enriches their lives, that they enjoy that they trust, that they know doesn't lie to them, or try and sell them a bunch of fear or snake oil or what have you. So I think on that note, a sort of deprogramming note, after I had some feed difficulties and some server difficulties that started just right around August, just right after we were off from summer vacation, 
and so to to help mitigate that and some of the complaints and things, I basically started to upload the morning shows in their entirety to YouTube where I could. I sometimes have to chop off the song. I would sometimes get dinged with even some of the clips that I used within the body of the show. I've also been struggling to figure out exactly what the server issue is. It basically seems like, for the most part, it's people on Apple mobile devices can't get the podcast of the show using iTunes. And I'm still trying to struggle to figure out exactly what the problem may be. So while I'm still working on that all behind the scenes, there's also the YouTube crackdown that's been going on, the demonetization. Now, the demonetization hasn't affected us because I've never monetized anything, I should remind you, in the 12 plus years. But of course, as I said, some of the clips and some of the other things that we use getting flagged, etc. So what I've decided to do is, I did it all last week, and now it's a new month and it's even better to sort of kind of take this on. I've just started uploading both the morning show, your morning monarchy, and your daily DJ set at noon, pump up the volume, uploading both shows in their entirety just to BitChute all the way. BitChute.com slash Media Monarchy. We did a good news episode on it months and months and months back. We were one of the earliest people championing and yelling about the new YouTube killer called BitChute.com. So that's the word to the wise here on YouTube, if that's where you are. We'll still keep using YouTube to upload good news next week episodes and probably also, you know, clips from the morning show and interviews and other things. But probably anything that might be problematic, we're just going to go put it on BitChute. It's not worth the trouble over on YouTube. And again, it's what we've been basically talking about all these years to unfollow Friday and again, not (laughs) continue to use services that we know lie, cheat, and steal from us. I'm pretty thankful today on October 2nd that I'm not on Fedbook to see what's going on there in Zuckerberg land. So basically, that's the thing I want to tell you. Bitshoot.com slash Media Monarchy. We put both shows up each and every day, Monday through Friday. That way you'll have another way, if the feed isn't working, to get your media from the monarchy. And again, I'll remind you, we stream Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 Pacific Time at MediaMonarchy.com slash listen. That's basically indie news, indie music, and news as it breaks. And again, it's all brought to you by you. So again, I can't do this without your support at MediaMonarchy.com slash support. You know all the dot com. You know all the places. I don't have to belabor it. If this work resonates with you, we would appreciate it if you would support our work. That's episode 55 of Good News Next Week for the week of October 2nd, 2017. And I am James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com. Again, thanking you so much for watching and participating and supporting our work. And reminding you, as always, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology and the occult, all remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.